Well, good evening. It is uh, Tuesday. It's nine o'clock and it's the 30th of July. Where's it all going? It's hot as the fires of hell in this little vapor trail studio. <laughs> but we've got some bits today. We've got some video from Davey. We've got some news. We've got a little look at this, which is the Smok Pyrex tank. And that, my friends, is all coming up in the next half hour on Vapor Scene. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. Yes, it's me, it's Tuesday, time for a bit of Vapor Scene, and a little bit different to last week. I haven't got uh, an MEP in tow today. Uh, and I did say last week that I was having a meeting with uh, Dan Jarvis, who's my local MP. Um, but strangely enough, the next day I got an email from one of his aides, or his secretary, to say, uh, could we put the meeting off to August? So I'll bring you that when I eventually get to see him again. Um, I will be tweeting him in the meantime. Uh, and I see there's been lots and lots of activity over the past week uh, on the Twitter feed and on the social media um, to do with e and the TPD and lots of other things besides. And there's a, there's a few little stories. This is in the mail today, the mail online, um, apparently the cigarettes, e-cigarettes, are now on sale in the UK. And it would appear that uh, Poundland will be selling them from September. Poundland? Do you think it would be a pound? Yes. Um, so a pound for a disposable e-cig. Now, do you think the other store, the 99p store, will start selling them and then knock a penny off? Um, or then will end up as two for a pound? Is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? These questions need answering, don't they? Is it a good thing to have a disposable e-cig for a pound? Are we going to get the quality we want? Um, we shall find out because uh, we're going to be buying some, I should think, and checking them out and seeing exactly what you get for your quid. Um, it looks like they're 12 milligram from the, uh, the bit of news there. So have a little look at that story anyway. Uh, the other story is about Daz. Daz from Safer Cigs um, posted on Sunday that um, Joss and Ros were going to looking after the shop for a while and then he posted yesterday that he'd had a minor heart attack. So I hope you're feeling better, Daz, if you're watching uh, and I hope you get better soon and I'm sure we all feel exactly the same. He's a top man, top bloke is Daz uh, and uh, we wish you the very best and hope you get a speedy recovery, my friend uh, and hopefully we'll see you next month at Vape Fest. But if you're not there, it doesn't matter. Let everyone else do the work. Take a back seat. You deserve it, my friend. So uh, that's a couple of things. Um, I've got a little vapey festy thing. Um, maybe before the, the ads, maybe after. We shall see. Um, but our very own Davey sent a little video in for me. Uh, and he was using an ego while he moved. So I thought I'd, I'd bring you that this week. So uh, here's Davey and he's going to talk about his little ego challenge. Hi guys, um, I'm Dave and I'm the newest member of the Vapor Trails team. Um, yes, another Dave on the team. I don't know if they'll just call me Dave or Davey Boy or Davey or DM, D, D. I don't know yet, but um, big hello to you all. Now, for my first video, I was going to do a kind of beginner's guide. Um, looking at everything from the SIGA likes to the mods. But that would take hours because there's so much going on. 
And for a beginner though, when they go onto forums and stuff, once you get into vaping, you look at all this different stuff, it can be really confusing. Because you can find a mod, or you see someone talking about a new mod that's just come out, and it seems to be every day there's something else coming out. And it's got a weird name, or it's just a bundle of letters that means nothing. Um, so Beginner's Guide was something I was going to do to try to introduce people into it and learn different things. That's something I'm going to come back to though, because I found something else. Um, I'll give you the background. At the moment we're moving house, and while I was cleaning out one of my old vape boxes, and it's, got, it's full of juice I'm never going to use again, it's got loads of bits and bobs in there, I found two old friends and it's the mini egos I'd forgotten I actually had these these were the ones I used the original ones I used when I switched from the cigar likes to vaping and it was a starter kit it came with a CE4 which I don't have anymore unfortunately um, and the USB charger and I thought there's something in here do they still work? So I've charged them up, I've got two of them, one's actually charging at the moment and I've got this one here. And I also found an empty cartomizer, which again is something I used right at the beginning, but I don't use them anymore. I tend to drip rather than use a tank or anything like that. But I thought, right, there's something here. So it was like a light bulb above the head moment, you know, bing! And I thought, what I'm going to do is a challenge. So throughout the entire time that we move, all I am going to use is a mini ego and a cartomizer. I've ordered some more cartos. Hopefully they'll get here today. Um, I've got a couple of bottles of my favourite juice. And I'm going to see how it goes because I want to see, with all the mods that are going on, there's one thing that's sticking around and that is the Ego and the sold as starter kits. And I want to see if they're still relevant and if someone like me who uses a mod constantly and changes the, the power on it and all that stuff. Is this still relevant? That's the question that I want to try and find the answer to. So that's what I'm doing. It's going to take me probably a couple of weeks to get everything moved over and during that time I will update you every couple of days with how I'm getting on. Um, it could well be that I'll turn around and grab my mod as soon as we moved, stick the dripper on top and vape that instead. But I think this could be a very interesting challenge and it's something that it, it, it's a question that I think needs answering at the moment. Um, so that's my video for you at the moment and I will keep you updated. Catch you later. Yes, that was Davey with his little ego challenge. Uh, and to be fair, I mean I have one in the car. I keep one in the car with a, uh, I've got an EVOD on it at the moment uh, and that sits in there quite nicely and I've got the USB charger in case I need to charge it up. Uh, I charge my EVIC in the car, just sits in my little cup holder and charges away, uh, as does the MVP, because uh, the BlackBerry charger fits both, which is really good. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think they're, uh, they've still got a place, don't you? Don't you, chat? I think they do. Um, so more from Davey soon, and I've got a little Juicy Juicy from Davey as well, so uh, that might come up next week. Yes. Um, but later on today, we're going to be looking at the um, Pyrex tank. If I just go back to that cam, we should be looking at that. And if I take that display off so it's not on there, there we go. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've been playing around with this for the past couple of weeks. Uh, so I put this video together and we'll look at that a bit later on. Um, but it is rather nice, I have to say. So back to me, here we go. Oh, it's all the way over there, that camera. <laughs> Uh, so, what's next? Well, I have for you next. Yes. What's happening next month? Well, this is happening next month. Oh yes, it's the Vape Fest 
2013 and here is a little trail what our very own cat did. Yes, it's getting so close. I'm just watching chat there. Um, a few people haven't uh, haven't heard of Vapefest. Uh, Media Youth over in Germany. It's a big gathering. And last year was a big gathering, and I'm hoping this year is going to be even bigger. And see if we can get some MPs down there to see what it's all about, because uh, it's going to be cracking. I hope so. I'm there for the weekend. <laughs> as is Dave K. As is Gary Dibley, uh, and. Uh, is, uh, is De coming? I don't know if De is coming yet. Maybe De can let me know. <laughs> D3, Davy Boy, um, I don't know. And there's going to be so many people down there, it's going to be a big, big laugh. Uh, and I noticed when I was scouting around on Monday, there's a few threads, obviously there's a few threads in UKV uh, and other places, but I saw one vis-a-vis t-shirts on UK Vapors. Uh, and if you go down to the Vape Fest section, there's a little section there on t-shirts uh, and Jaded created this lovely image uh, and it's been put on a shirt uh, and the link is in the thread, in the Vapefest uh, t-shirts thread. Um, you can go and get one uh, and I have actually embellished it a little bit more um, because I've made mine on the back with the eSig Save Lives logo as well. Uh, and on the front is something else. You'll just have to find me on the day to see what it says on the front. But there you go. It's not a cheap place, I have to say that t-shirt place, but they look quite nice and they do mahoosive ones, which I need. <laughs> because a lot of people only go up to like a 2XL. And uh, when you see me, you'll understand why I need a little bit bigger than that. Yes. So uh, yeah, have a look if you want to get hold of one. Um, uh, JD has made that uh, logo available and if you go to the Vapefest uh, website there is a whole load of logos that have been made available should you wish to use them. Right, we'll go into the ads and when we come back we've got Show Is Yours uh, and we have a look at that little smock Pyrex tank. So finding the ads, there they are, see you in two. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health EV, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. Iveber and Iveber Elixir, best in Yorkshire for your e-cig needs. That's iveber.co.uk and iveber-elixir.co.uk. Iveber and iveber-elixir.co.uk are proud sponsors of vapertrails.tv.
now it's back to Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And welcome back to the room. Just got a mouthful of juice there, which is not good. <laughs> Never mind. I have a beverage over there, which I used uh, very quickly. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to speak. <laughs> oh dear, what is it like? So let's have a look at this week's show as yours. But before we do, uh, I want to just cast your mind back to last week's show as yours, uh, because the winner was Alex McDonald. And I contacted Alex after the show. Uh, and he emailed me back um, and Alex lives in the States and what he would like to do is gift his prize of a 30 ml bottle of juice to someone else uh, and that person and I hope you're here tonight that person is Mark Ellis so Alex has suggested that um, Mark Ellis gets the juice uh, and so can Mark Ellis send me an email to vaporscene at vaportrails.tv. I'm following you on Twitter anyway, um, if you don't send me an email, so uh, I will then tell you how you get hold of your juice. Uh, and um, what a very nice thing that is from Alex. Very nice indeed. Uh, he also sent me another picture, and that is in this little bit of video. Um, let's see if you can spot it. Uh, <laughs> wasn't quite sure whether I was going to leave it in or leave it out. Um, because it is a little bit contentious, uh, you'll see why. Anyway, here is this week's show is yours. It's quite fast. I've taken it down I've, and I've kind of made the, the pictures go a lot quicker. And uh, I'm gonna think I'm going to change it around a bit going forward too. So uh, this is this week's gallery. So see if you see your picture in it. And now it's time for Show Is Yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. And now it's time for... Yes, that was the Show is Yours gallery and it almost started again. <laughs> I hadn't unticked the box that says remove after playing, but there you go. These things happen. <laughs> oh dear. Let's go to this week's winner. And this week's winner is... It's Neil Poxon, who has sent this uh, yeah, Halo-themed picture. A little dark, but it is there. Halo is quite a dark game, uh, and 
I'm a bit of a gamer myself and I do like the Halo series. So well done Neil, you have won this, uh, this week's juice. I will send you an email after the show and tell you how you get it. Yes indeed, I was looking in chat there and Gary Dibley says he's not drinking any beer uh, at Vapefest this year. And that's because he only drinks scotch. So <laughs> I don't know why he's not drinking beer but I think he probably will be. Uh, and he's typing something into Skype at the minute but uh, he hasn't finished it yet. He's still typing, so I don't know what he's saying. Anyway, that was this week's uh, show as well. And what I might start doing um, from next week is taking out the older photos, um, so it runs a little bit faster, um, but they'll still be in the draw for a prize. So anyone that has sent a, a picture in, is still in there. Uh, now then, talking about Gary Dibley, have a little look at this. One piece of wood and one man. It was a match made in heaven. <laughs> and you can see more of Gary, of course, on Monday night with our very own modmeister, Mr. Mark Jones. Yes, indeed. Now then, let's move on and we'll look at the uh, Pyrex smog tank, uh, which I showed you a little bit earlier, which is there. Oh, yes. Uh, and uh, when we come back, I'll tell you a bit more about how I think about it. See you in a minute. Here is the uh, Smock Pyrex Vivinova. Uh, it's a 3.5 milliliter capacity tank. Uh, it comes with a plastic drip tip, 510 connection. And of course, the actual tank itself is made from Pyrex. So it's not going to crack. It's not going to crumble when you use juices such as pineapple cube, cola cube, um, cinnamon red hots, and that kind of juice. Um, let's take it apart and show you the different bits. Like I said, plastic drip tip. Not particularly a brilliant drip tip, but it comes with it. We'll just take the top section off. And these feel like just kind of a brass um, with a chrome coating with a nice O-ring at the top to keep everything nicely secure. And there's the tank itself. Good threads on there and it's actually a really good fit when you screw everything together uh, which is nice so there's no leaks from the bottom or the top or anything and then we have our bottom connection and on the bottom connection if I do it like this you might be able to see it's it's a sprung connection so when you're putting it on your device it will make a really good connection uh, and if your uh, connection's a bit low on the device you're putting it onto, then um, that will help as well. But it's not one of these ones that's going to push and end up where you've got to screw it really tight down. Um, right, so the atomizer head just screws out, as with, with the uh, other Vivianova tanks. Screws out so you can change it. This one is a 2.4 ohm. You always find the resistance printed on the front there. And these are available for around about £2.50. Um, you can, of course, re-wick these. They are relatively easy to do. 
um, just a case of pulling some pins out and uh, re-wicking it uh, and I might do that at some point as you can tell this isn't exactly new I've been using it for a couple of weeks uh, since Callum from Healthy Vapes uh, sent it over to me uh, he actually showed me one on the vape train uh, and then uh, sent one over to me so I'll put this back on and you just need to make sure that you get a good connection. There is a silicon O-ring on that connection, which is good, so you won't get juice coming down into uh, the center there. And what I like to do after I've done that is just make a connection, because I have to confess, I've already filmed this once, uh, and I went through the whole process, put the juice in, went to vape on it, and I hadn't screwed in this connector. <laughs> very tight so uh, it didn't make a connection and I had to start again but there you go and I can hear that's working so that's fine so we'll put it back together again and it is very easily the reverse of taking it apart um, just make sure your uh, wicks are nicely in there so they're not going to get caught up on the thread the uh, Smock symbol goes to the bottom, or the smock logo, I should say, goes to the bottom, and you'll see there's the nice silicon ring there to uh, help prevent leakage, which is very good. It's a very well made tank, I have to say, very well made tank, and I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. This has had 10 mils of the red ripple, which is one of uh, Callum's juices. Um, <laughs> very nice juice, um, vanilla ice cream, raspberry ripple, um, and there we go with the top section. So, what I have here is a normal juice, it's not one that is uh, going to need the protection of the Pyrex, because I've, uh, I've already got some fire and ice in my Argy T2. Uh, this is called Ice Age, it's another of the Pure Perfection range from Calumet Healthy Vape. Uh, and this one is a 24 milligram 70 PG 30 VG. Uh, it's menthol. And it is quite nice, I have to say. I do like my menthol. I know some people don't like menthol, but uh, I quite like it. And it does help if you don't put the wicks in the window, which is what I've just done. <laughs> I'm having a good day of it today. So, cocktail stick move the wick out of the way. There we go. And now I can see how much juice I'm putting into the thing. So, juice in. And... that'll about do it. So there you go. I'll put the top back on. I don't fill these anywhere near three, three and a half mils when I'm filling them. Um, just because I don't like to overfill. The... Uh, center pin, if you like, the hole, I'll zoom in for you, is quite a good fit. What you do find, I'm going to use my cocktail stick for this, what you do find is you get a build up here in this well of condensation because the vapor condenses on this plastic drip tip and then goes down into that well. So just a quick flick every now and again uh, tends to get rid of that. Um, and as you can see, five time connection, and there you are with your plastic drip tip. Um, I do prefer, I have to say, I do prefer that drip tip on it. Let me just zoom out again. I prefer my long stainless um, drip tip on there. It does make it look rather fetching, I have to say, as opposed to the uh, stock plastic one. So there you have, put my other tip back on, so there you have the Smock Pyrex Vivinova tank, three and a half mil, uh, available in lots of different colours. I know Callum sells them in silver and red, uh, and I'm liking it a lot, I have to say. So uh, we'll go back to the studio and uh, we'll have a look at it in action. Yes, it's back to me. Um, I got this drip tip, I was looking at chat there, from um, Health Cabin. Um, ooh, last year, I think, I got the drip tip. 
Um, yes, I like it a lot. It's a, it's a very nice, very nice tip indeed. Uh, and I'm liking the um, the tank as well. Uh, apart from just getting that gob full of juice <laughs> earlier on, it's the first time that's happened to me using this in in two weeks. Uh, and also, I agree yeah, on the the flavours. Um, some really nice flavours coming from Callum. Um, the raspberry ripple, the red ripple, was uh, really nice. And you know that I really like the coffee one, the uh, vanilla macchiato, uh, which I've got a big bottle of. Yes. Uh, I have gone over. Oh dear. And when I looked at my list, it, it looked like it was going to be all on time. Anyway, I've waffled, haven't I? That's what usually happens. Um, next week, I'm going to have uh, a little look at this, which is the SID. Um, and it's uh, the 18350 model, not the 18650 model. Uh, I've been playing around with that and I will bring you that next week. Why not? So, talking about next week, it is next week, but before then there's VT Talk tomorrow night. Now, my Skype chat has crashed, so I don't know what is happening tomorrow night. So you need to, need to tune in at nine o'clock and find out. Uh, Thursday, of course, the Hayes Hour. Uh, Sunday, I'm not entirely sure exactly what is happening, seeing as Dave is off, so keep an eye on the Vapor Trails TV webpage and on the forum and on the Facebook and Twitter feeds, and you will find out. Of course, tin your tip on Monday. I'll be here next Tuesday. Until then, looking for the credits, which I can't find. There they are. Until then, <laughs> have a good week. See you soon. is proudly sponsored by Health EV, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. <laughs>